Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Buddy Blackford and this is another After Effects CS6 tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about how to split your layer and why you want to do it and also overlays and ripple edits. Um, since we're doing uh, effects and uh, different special like cool looking things I saw this video today on e World and I just wanted to show you like a little bit of it because it's uh, the best special effects I've ever seen in my life. So maybe you've seen this one before, but we'll give it a little play. <laughs> After Effects is meant to work. Alright. Now if you want to... So if you want to check out the rest of that video, I mean, you saw the link earlier, you can go to that video, Special Effects Done Right. It was hilarious, I thought. It made me laugh. There were some other parts where you like punched a T-Rex and stuff like that, so... I mean that made me that made my morning a little uh, more bearable. So let's get over to uh, sequencing or uh, not sequencing splitting layers, and what you what you do for that is pr if you're like moving across an object and you want it to go in front first and then you want it to go behind after, you can split your layer and move the move the layers so that um, the second part of the layer will go behind. So I'll show you what I mean real quick. So I'm a little bit, bit better at showing than explaining, I guess, on this one. So I have some position keyframes that I made up here where it comes over to the side, stops, and then it'll come back. So when it gets over here, I wanted to split it. So you go up here into edit, and you come down to uh, split layer and the hotkey is control shift D alright now that it's split we can move this little squish thing in between and it'll move the layers will move watch this see it moves behind and then it moves forward and front so that's an, that's an easy way to uh, to do that without having to mask anything out uh, and since it's transparent the uh, squish is transparent you can see the two that go behind it even through his mouth and everything so if you just if you if you want him to be in front first bring this layer up above and then bring this other layer below so now it'll go in front first and then go behind after makes sense you do have the option of uh, telling After Effects where you want your split layers to go so it's in, it's in your preferences so if you come down to edit preferences and then go to general it's um, there's a, something about split layers in here somewhere let me see if I can find it here it is right here create split layers above original layer if you uncheck that it'll create it below the original layer so it's up to you which way I mean to me it doesn't matter it uh, I'll have to move them if I want to switch it the other way anyway so it's up to you what whatever your preference is there that's why they're called preferences obviously the next thing I want to talk about is ripple edits and overlays and I'll show you what the, that means real quick you come if you double click on your video here I'll do I'll X out of that if you double click on a video it'll bring up the footage panel you can see it says footage right there if you, that's you wanna double click it in the um, in the project panel over here that way you don't have to bring it into your layers panel and then you can edit your in and out points if you would like and there's two buttons right here this one says ripple insert edit and this one is overlay edit 
Now, what it does is, it, it, oops, let me uh, move my current time indicator somewhere real quick, and I'll move these layers out. It's going to insert the footage at where your current time indicator is. The overlay will put the footage right on top and not affect any of the layers below it, but the uh, ripple edit is going to split layers and add it in between and like create. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you by hitting the ripple edit. As you can see, it pushed, it split the squish layer in half and insert it in between. And since the uh, tunas were already split, it pushed the this tuna that was after, it pushed it further out. So I'll do that again for you so you can see. Now it's got this space, this tuna has this much space in between it. Now let's go back into the footage panel up there. Add the ripple insert edit and then watch the layers. It just inserts it in between and splits the layers below it. So, I mean, that's good if you want to just switch to the next footage or whatever. Now, the overlay is a little different. It'll just put it right on top. So, I'll click on this and it just adds it right to the top where your current time indicator is. That way, you can just um, throw things in there really quick and I mean you would want to use this if you were if you were trimming down like your in and out points of your footage so I mean you hit these buttons down here to trim the in and out points now if I just add it in there you go it adds, adds it in already trimmed and everything so that's that's gonna be it for this tutorial I uh, hope you guys learned something and you can use it on whatever you're doing next. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.